you to live with. Do you actually believe that every person around you could be your teacher? Yeah. Do Cool. Okay, that's fine. Let's just live with that. Do you believe that when you walk out of here today, that you could be stopped at a petrol station, or you stop at a petrol station, you meet somebody from somewhere, some age, some demographic, doesn't really matter, and they say something to you that will be a hell of a sight more powerful than anything I can say to you. Do you believe that? Okay. Do you believe at the moment that the most annoying person in your life could be your greatest teacher? Yes. You could. Why don't you listen to them? What specifically can you recall from the first session? More importantly, what specifically will you use in the future? Everybody has a dream. Everybody has a compelling vision. I am saying focus on that dream. You will attract teachers, circumstances, and events, and you will, and here is my guarantee. You, I guarantee you, you will end up in a place you describe and recognize as better than your starting point. What I would like for years, that when you found your passion, when you found your purpose, when you found something that really ticks the boxes in terms of values, interests, excitement, emotion, etc., I want you to put that into your mind with belief. I want you to focus on that. And I think that that helps in the context of attracting teachers, circumstances, and beliefs. What I want you to do now is I want you to imagine in five years' time that you have lost this habit, you have changed this habit, you've made a more empowering choice. And what I want you to do is paint a very vivid, full picture of your life in five years' time if you have lost this habit, okay? So you've changed to more empowering. So the positive effect it's going to have in your work and detail. The positive effect it's going to have in your relationships in all aspects. The positive effect in terms of your sense of connection, right the whole... In 1996, I decided I was going to write a best-selling book. So what I did was, I got an A4 sheet, it was this simple, and I wrote on it, and this is the way I'd like to see you writing your goals as well, I am a best-selling author. And what I did was, I put that page over my workspace, over my desk, then beside it, manuscript finished by a certain date, okay? So this was over my workspace, and I also put the two sheets on the back of my door. The idea was to absolutely program into my mind my desired reality. In February 2007, Stanford Business School Advisory Committee said that the most important attribute to develop was self-awareness. That's why when you go in for an interview or when you're pitching to the different agencies, emotion, if you can get to that place, that's when you start selling. That's when you make people excited. Can I also just throw a simple idea? I think this is something, I was just thinking about last night, there has, to be, there has to be an opportunity in this. I think that every person's job spec should include that they come up with one idea or improvement a month. Yeah? Okay? And basically that there is somebody to harvest this idea. Now we're working on this, the Toyota principle here, that even if it's a minor improvement, as the Toyota chief executive said, after seven year, 70 years, these minor improvements become a revolution. We get so fixed into our thinking, and we get so fixed into thinking that we're absolutely right, and we're right all the time. It really is a case. And we can never understand when we come out of that interview and we find out that we didn't get the job, etc. So I'm asking you to open up your mind, because I believe you're going to have to open up your mind to get to the next level anyway. But it could be a case that your mind is so closed at the moment that that's your challenge, that's your obstacle. When you repeat back to people what they've said, it is for them the equivalent of a spiritual experience. And many people here has had the experience within the workplace, let's localize it, that you spoke to somebody about a certain subject and they talked back about something that had nothing got to do with what you just said. Hands up, be honest. Absolutely, it is viral at the moment. Okay, surely you got 30. Yeah. Fantastic, hands up. <laughs> Father Michael, I rest my case. Goodbye, 40 by a hand.